Mr. P.I. Staker. I haven't done a Tenere video in a while, have I? I hell, I haven't, I haven't had a chance to really get out. Today, I took the day off. I don't have a set plan, I don't have a set route, whoa. I don't have anything set. It's just get on a bike and do a little bit of riding. I should come over here and park next to the tree. That's, that'd be a pretty cool layout. Yeah, the only thing holding it up is the other tree. Y'all have sweet gum trees around where y'all are, wherever you are watching this video. These sweet gum trees. It sucks whenever you want to walk barefoot because they drop these little gumballs. Like right here, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's your sweet gumball. You want a sweet gumball? They're not, they're not horrible, but if you're walking around barefoot, I suck. So what have I done to the Tenere since y'all last, um, since y'all last saw it? Well, I did a full exhaust and a tune. I have this custom nylon melt. It was, it was a nylon melt. It actually adds a couple horsepower. So yeah, this right here, that I, it was, it was kind of hard to get. Sitting on the steps of Hey Hey. So I already had the Leo Vents. Leo Vinci, whatever you want to call it. I had the slip on already on there and it sounded good, but I had to take the baffle out because with the baffle in, it makes some sort of flutter sound. Like it's like it's got a plastic ball bouncing around in there. It sounded bad. I was like, what? No, it sounded like factory. That's what it sounded like, the factory exhaust. It just sounded weird. I was like, screw it. I had the money. I went ahead and I got the uh, the Leo Vents Cat Delete pipe, and I got the Dynojet Power Vision Three. Went to Dynojet because the map that was on there was just a factory map, you know, with factory headers. And I'm looking at 2023 on the on the maps that they have for the 2023. And it's like there's nothing for a full exhaust. So I called up Dynajet and I'm like, hey, can I send this back? Because this is like, it's pointless to me. If, if y'all don't have any maps, I'm not a tuner. The reason I got it was because it was simple, right? I mean, it's just easy as possible. I can, I can flash it myself. You know, they're, they're like, well, you know, just try that. This is the one with the open air box. It's still going to put some more fuel and timing and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, I'll try it. So I got to looking. So I went back to the Dynajet website and i found 2021 had a full leo vents exhaust so i found that but i could not download the map so i called dynajet back up and i told him i said hey look i can't download this map and we were walking you know walking through everything why i couldn't download the map and turns out the ecu on this bike is labeled different than the ECUs in 2021. So they, they worked their magic. They, they redid some stuff and put my, the 2023 ECU name into the program, into the tune of the 2021 model and sent me that, e they emailed me that, uh, that, that tune and I was able to download it. I was able to put it on the bike and sure enough, man, that, that unlocked the power on this bike. So from, from the tune that they had for the 2023s, you know, it, it was just, you know, minimal. It was just with the slip on and open air box. That's all it was. But the 2021 tune works great.
for this 2023. I mean, it's the same dead gum engine. I don't know why. What? I don't know what's going on with with the the tunes and why they did that. So if you do get the Power Vision, just call them up. The Power Vision Three to tune your Tenere. You're gonna have to look, you know, look at the different different year models and say, look, this tune, and they're labeled, say that tune is the one that I need. Can you make it for my bike? And tell them to email it to you. I haven't noticed a drop in fuel mileage either. As a matter of fact, I wanna say that it's gotten better. What else did I wanna say in this video? That is a cool bike. So the 1290 is more than likely out the door just for the fact that the more the more off road riding I do. And it's, it's like I, I can ride all day on this bike. It's not a big deal. Yes, the cruise control is going to be missed, but even with even with the air, what they call the air shovel up front with the high fender kit, it doesn't it doesn't affect my handling on, you know, on road at at highway speeds 80 85 miles an hour yeah i will i will miss it but it's kind of like y'all would probably think i'm crazy to get rid of get rid of the 1290 but my plans are to get the 1390 and i will do some touring on it so that way it's not just completely off-road but man that's what i'm addicted to is just getting off-road and having fun and while you can on that 1290 it's not ideal right i mean that that the bike is perf more than capable but my it's not necessarily my skill level either i just like the way that this handles off-road better than the 1290. it's it really it's it's awesome this this bike is the swiss army knife as far as i'm concerned you just got to get it set up right because what you're getting with the Tenere is just a basic platform. Everything else is like great value and just budget stuff. So once you start upgrading this bike, it gets better and better and better. It's just ridiculous the potential that's unlocked. It's just a piece of coal. You got to shine it up into a diamond, right? So yeah, the 1290 is just a whole different beast it really is geared more towards uh touring and off-roading at the same time but it's it's geared more towards street and i don't ride a whole lot of street you know about the most i have to ride on street is to get somewhere to actually ride off-road and then whenever i get to that place that's off-road it's somewhat technical and that big bike just ain't it you know, I mean, yeah, I can I can ride that bike off road and some crazy stuff, but it's going to be slow and somewhat boring, but yet challenging. So I'd like to speed it up a little bit. And the more off road I go, the more I'm realizing that tube tires. Now I see why a lot of your heavy duty off road guys like tube tires, because if you're out in the middle of nowhere and you bust a bead off of a, a tubeless tire, unless you're carrying an air compressor with you, you're not gonna reseat that bead. And if you're already, and if you're, if you're carrying a tube with you and a tubeless setup, then what's, what's the point? I mean, you're carrying around the extra weight for maybe nothing. So if you, if you bend a rim and you got slow, a slow leak or whatever, that's going to be a pain in the butt if you have a tubeless tire. Whereas if you have a tube tire, you're not going to, you, you can bend the rim and not have a problem unless you get a pinch flat, but whatever. So I'm learning, learning more. And the more I learn, the more that the 1290 just kind of doesn't fit in with what I want to do. I've got a price that I want for the, for the 1290. If I don't get it, I'm not selling it. That's the thing because it is, it is such an awesome bike this moto's skid plate because of the bolts that are behind the camel um brake pedal i had to notch out this moto's bash plate that way that way my brake pedal wouldn't hit on that way the brake pedal wouldn't hit on the skid plate because it was hitting on the skid plate <laughs> 
and I really almost got screwed up because of that. Um, what I would have to do is push and then twist my foot out because you got just a little bit of side to side play. So I had to, I had to make sure to twist and push my foot out if I needed to lock the brake up. <laughs> it's like, ah, that's not safe. That's not safe at all. So I had to, I had to grind that down. So that's something to be aware of. If you do have a beefy skid plate and you get the Camel ADV, just make sure that these bolts don't, don't interfere with your skid plate. It's just a check-in video, just to get out on the road, get out on the tarmac, a little bit of back road action, and just get back on the big bike. I don't want to say goodbye to the 1290, but it just doesn't fit anymore. You know, I mean, what's... I know there's all kind of reasons to hang on to it. It's paid off. It's not costing me anything other than monthly insurance, which is like $45 a month. So it's costing me $45 a month to sit there. But somebody else could probably really be enjoying that bike. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for all you new subscribers. This is somewhat the, the normal style of video I do. Just kind of chill, relax, whatever. Give some information out, talk. It's bull crap, you know? I mean, that's that's what we do around here. So, um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. And uh, just a little check-in. Got out on a big bike today. And we'll see you all in the next one. Bye. And stay healthy, my friends. I forgot. I think that's going to be my out. That's going to be my out. And stay healthy, my friends. See you all in the next one. Bye. Other than that, it is so peaceful out here.